Okay, today we are looking at Transformers Combiner Wars Superion. Here he is in all of his glory, all combined, and even has his gun with him. He is ready to go. Um, this is a great figure. I'm a big fan of the combiners. I think almost all Transformers love combiners. And I just wanted to show at the beginning here, uh, as I'm holding the camera, it's not on the tripod at the moment, that you can stand him and have his gun pointed straight for a lot of people have been saying that uh, there's too much um too much weight but you can see he is holding his full gun straight out as he can um, basically what you have to do is you need to do a little leg manipulation if you see here uh, i have this leg sticking out a little bit further and this one's a little bit behind so it's counterbalancing the weight and it's great i mean what a great pose look at that cannon i mean that is fantastic i am a big fan of that uh, he looks like he is ready to go and he is ready to go fight somebody good so let's take a look at him so in this video today I'm going to more just be looking at Superion himself once he is formed not necessarily the transformation to get him uh, you can look at all the different transformations on my other uh, my other reviews and it'll show more about how uh, to take a look at and move the characters around so they can become the legs or the arms or, or reverse the order uh, but really what I want to look at today is I want to look at how he looks in his combined form and what he can do so first of all, let's go ahead and take his gun out of his hand. So, remember, we had Power Glide that came in earlier. Power Glide transforms. It's almost a triple changer uh, of sorts. And here he is as his gun. So you can see he has this little um, uh, sight right here. It's painted this nice blue. And he has some little red painted inside the engines and then this right here I would guess within a day or so I'm gonna put some paint touch-ups on that myself to make these pop a little bit maybe uh, put some orange on it or something uh, something you won't really see it when these transformed in the different modes but when it comes out as a gun it looks pretty pretty tight so what you do here once this is transformed into the gun you can see basically there's power glides body like that it is the actual wheel on the front of the plane that is what he can hold it fits in uh, the hole in his hand if he wants to hold them like that or it fits into the gun itself all right so see we have the gun and the hole it sits there and then this part of his chest right in here right where the autobot symbol is it rests on the front like that move that up and now you've got this wicked wicked blaster so it's pretty cool because you want to be able, you want him to have some serious firepower. I mean, come on, he's a combiner. He's he's uh, five big guys combined. So it's pretty cool. So if you have um, um, the combiners, the Combaticons, and some of the others, uh, they're going to have different ways where they can hold a third, uh, a fifth, sorry, sixth guy. Um, you can see that the other one will be on his chest for uh, Minasaur, but for Superion, it's on his gun. So that's pretty cool. All right, so let's look at Superion himself. What does he look like and what can he do? Um, in terms of articulation, they have done a really good job masking Silverbolt into Superion. So you can see his head looks great. It's a great sculpt. Um, really not much else to say here. Uh, the front of the body looks like the front of the body. You don't see any wings sticking out. Uh, you can see, I mean, from the arms, it goes right in to where this guy goes. Um, for the torso, there is no rotation along the torso, which I guess that's not to be expected. I mean, they have to have, you're going to have to give something up to make uh, one character make three, you know, his himself, his uh, combined form, and the actual uh, silver bolt, silver bolt uh, when he's in plane. So you're going to have to give some of that up. Legs look pretty good. You know, I've never been a huge fan of the way these legs look down here, but that's the way they were in the G1 toy, and that's just the way they are here. Uh, so you can see that, you know, they've kept that up, and, um, you know, they fit on pretty good. So the question is from the side and the back, how does he look? You can always, you always see him from the front, and the front is what they're going to model. That's, you know, that's what they want to look at. Everybody's going to be looking at the front, so nobody really pays all that much attention to the back except for collectors like us. So if we turn him and we want to see the side, the side is still pretty good. You know, you still obviously going to start to see a little bit more of the kibble of the uh, planes because here, I mean, you obviously still see him here, but it's a little different here. It's just kind of, you know, it's more of a side view, so you don't see as much of it straight on. Uh, the side view is a little of a thinner view 
then the then sorry the th side view of his arms and his appendages are a little um, thinner than if you turn it and it's more like that so I would say pretty good in that respect go to the side here not that much to complain about it looks pretty decent and if you go to the back you know I mean obviously you're gonna see a little bit of kibble of the plane but it's not a big deal it, it folds up really nicely about you know as nice as they could um, everything fits pretty good you know he has his wings he has this little groove here that folds into this and it all stays back there nice and compact um, and it's it's pretty good the only thing that I am NOT a fan of and that is his fists his fists stick out there's no place for them to go they just stick out in the back so when you do look around oh look there's two hands sticking out and yeah, I would prefer that to be somewhere else but that's just the way that it is you know you, you can't expect perfection because there's really just so much that engineers can do and if you want to have fists around you're gonna to have to have fists around all right so if we look at superion what can he do let's what type of movement does he have so for the head head cannot tilt back it does not have light piping in the back so this red this bright painted red that is as bright as his visor will get obviously he can move back and forth um, but he cannot move up and down these little things these uh, move based on the transformation but when you put up there you can see they're this really rubbery um, painted rubber so that they're really uh, I guess user friendly you're not gonna worry about you know, your, your little kid getting stuck in the eye or anything what is nice though is the paint apps has they've done them to match on the different um, the different characters so you have right here you have the paint app on the top of this was just kind of this orangey um, I don't know, yeah, rust orange type color. And then on some of his appendages, like right here, you have the exact same. Now this is a little bit of a silver in there with it. I don't know if you can catch it here. And you can almost see it in light. See how it's kind of reflective? Um, it has the same, it's the same color, except this has some um, gold or silver flakes in it. And you have the same color here and then there. I move over here um, uh, to alpha bravo he's got the same color down there so you do see some of the same colors mixed around so it's not like these abhorrent blues and greens are gonna mix with yellows and reds and purples so it's it's really nice it mixes pretty well all right so let's see what can he do with his arms well his arms are great because of this new type of socket they have here you can move the arms up and down like this and each one's the same and you can move them up they ratchet up and down so you have limited movement in terms of where they can be but when they are moved they definitely stay there they do not fall down at all you can see this is this is a very very stable figure now like i said i'm not going to get into it that much in this video but each one when they are the leg or the arm if they're the arm they have the part of their torso right here which can turn see so you can turn this whole piece if you need to and it can bend so you have elbow articulation for all of these guys, which is pretty cool. You have shoulder rotation, shoulder up and down movement. You can move this up. Then you have rotation here and in and out. Okay, so that's, that's I mean, they did a lot of engineering to get this. Isn't this pretty cool? So if you go to the hand, no, oh, he popped off. He's done that to me a few times today. There we go. Okay. So now if you look at the hands, I'm just going to pull this off. One thing that I like that they've done with the hands is if you look, each one of the hands or feet is different than the other. When I say each one, of course, now these two are exactly the same. So these two are, yeah, these two are exactly the same. But if you look down here at his feet, Can see these are very different and it's also different from this one oh, let's try to get some of the contrast here in the light so you can see they're very different and i like that that they're not all exactly the same it'd be neat if they uh had a little you know it's nice to have a little difference among them otherwise it just gets kind of boring but in the hands as we've seen before so if this is the hand over here there's a little tab right there just push that and out comes his hand. So you can really move this hand around. The thumb can move anywhere, basically. 
Um, and then the hand can move any sort of open or close. And these are all attached, obviously. You can see I'm moving one and they're all going. So they can move all well. Again, just stick that in down here. And put the other one back on. There you go. Okay, so now that we've looked at that, let's take a look at the legs and see what the legs are like. So when you look down at the legs, legs are the same. You can move out, down, you can move forward. Oops. So you can move forward and there's a swivel. So you can really get a lot of articulation out of the leg as well, which is really cool. And like I mentioned before with the hands, remember these are actually uh, Silverbolt's arms. So that's kind of an interesting thing. Now, again, the way these are built, you can move the leg back, okay? So if we want to do some sort of pose where he's running, you know, you can move it like that, move it like this, you, know, you can sit down and squat. And you see how easy this is. This is not taking me minutes and minutes to do. I mean, that's a pretty cool pose right there. Um, it's just great. The articulation on this guy is fantastic, but not only that, the ratchet joints and the really strong movements that the pieces make, make it so you can put him in some really good poses and he doesn't flop around all over the place. So that was kind of the issue with a lot of the guys from you know the G1 and some of the other combiners is they just are just kind of floppy. This one is not. I mean, look at that. That's a fantastic pose. And I just did that while showing you guys what's going on. So let's go back again a little bit. All right. So I, mean, I actually don't even want to move it out of this post because I think it looks pretty sweet. Um, okay, so it's the same thing. Again, you have all of these that can move back and forth and you can straighten him back up. All right, so now let's get him in the full frame again. And if I had any complaint, which I mean, everybody has a complaint about something. The complaint would have to be that he looks a little blanky, okay? Those arms, he looks like a knuckle dragger. Those arms are huge. Look how long they go down. His hands are down to his knees. So that's kind of eh, kind of annoying, but seriously, again, you're going to you can't only ask for so much. So let's do some size comparisons. Okay. So here is the Legends Cosmos. Come on. Again, Look at a size comparison to Legends Cosmos. I mean, he looks like a midget compared to this guy. This guy is huge. If we get a deluxe figure, here is Deluxe Waspinator. Which, Deluxe Waspinator is not necessarily a small guy in himself. He's a decent sized deluxe character. Look at the size of that. And these guys, What's great about this series is these are deluxe and this is the next size bigger. And that is what really made the difference. You know, when we had, uh, what was it called? War of Cybertron. Uh, when we had the, um, I'm drawing a brain fart here, but that character was all made out of deluxes. So the inner core of him, the chest area, it just did not fit. It was just not as good of a, representation now because of this you have a bigger character here you have the deluxes for the limbs and it looks fantastic I mean, look at the size on this it's just great uh, again great toy I think he, they've done a great job with him and you just can't ask for something better in a uh, combiner from the 2000s 2010s that we are in now um, that somebody really put a lot of work into this guy if you have any questions, go ahead and submit them uh, underneath this page. I'll answer as quick as I can. Um, please click the thumbs up on the like. I'd appreciate that. And if you look in the other videos off to the right, uh, you'll see the individual reviews for the different uh, Autobots themselves. And you can see each one of them and their transformation uh, as I transform them between their vehicle, robot, and uh, arm or leg appendage boat. All right. Thanks a lot for viewing.